You now have three dryer choices, vented, condenser, and heat pump. In this video, I'll explain the pros and cons of each along with examples. We all have had vented dryers either growing up or even now, but you should really know how it works. Your basic dryer pulls in air from the outside, heats it up with elements, and then vents the heat and moisture to the outside. The pro to a vented dryer is reliability, it works. In fact, only 3.3% were repaired in the first year versus 9.5% for appliances in general. You also have the best selection with vented at the best prices compared to the other styles. You don't have the flexibility of placing where you want because it must be vented and you must remember to clean the vent every few years. But the real con is inefficiency. A vented dryer consumes a ton of electricity. For example, in Boston, the cost of electricity was as high as 34 cents per kilowatt hour. It's now 28 cents, according to my last month's electric bill. The average dryer, according to Whirlpool, uses about 3.4 kilowatt hours. Older vented dryers can be as high as five kilowatts an hour. So that means it costs about a dollar or 96 cents per load to run a dryer. That's one reason heat pump technology is deploying so rapidly in the last few years. In a condenser dryer, hot air circulates through the clothes in a drum absorbing moisture. Unlike vented dryers, the moist air is not expelled through a vent, but rather passed through a heat exchanger, where it is cooled, causing the moisture to condense into water and then drain. Condenser dryers were popular in the 1990s to 2010 for builders because they didn't have to cut holes in their buildings to vent. Ventless is the main attraction because anywhere can be your laundry room with a condenser dryer. However, you have the same energy consumption as a vented dryer. Condenser dryers also project all that heat back in your room, and it was only marketed in the smaller four cubic foot compact sizes by Bosch, Electrolux, Miele, and other European manufacturers. We don't sell enough condenser dryers anymore to have accurate repair stats. Heat pumps are much more popular now, as you'll learn later in this video. Heat pump dryers are use a closed loop heat exchange system to recirculate dry clothes. They take in ambient air, heat it, and then recirculate it through the drum, absorbing moisture from the clothes. The warm, moist air is then cooled, the water is condensed and collected, and the dryer is reheated to continue the process. That's the official definition. But think of it this way. You have an evaporator heat exchange removing moisture. The air is heated by a compressor. Instead of continually pulling in colder air and heating it and then expelling it through the back like vented or back in the room like the condenser dryer, the air is recirculated and less energy is needed. Heat pumps are also ventless like condenser dryers, but they are way more efficient and many heat pumps are 110 volts, so you can truly place it anywhere with just basic power and a drain. But the main proto heat pump dryer is efficiency, which is 50 to 60%. So in Boston, that amounts to $175 per load on just one load per day on an average electric dryer. For a family of five with multiple loads, the savings are considerably more. Heat pumps work on lower temperatures so they're gentler on your clothes. They dry with greater airflow rather than higher heat. Cons with heat pumps is you'll initially pay about $300 more. However, your payback is less than two years with the energy savings. Many people have commented on the added time with heat pumps, but on average, the difference in cleaning whites and colors based on our tests was less than 10 minutes per cycle. However, the real con could be service. Heat pumps do have a repair rate of only 3.3 to 5% for the two best brands, Bosch and Miele, which is about the same as electric dryers. The problem is the more complicated repair with a compressor, heat exchanger, and evaporator against just drying elements. Appliance service is already bad naturally without a more complicated repair. So finding out who can fix it should be consideration before buying a heat pump. And heat pumps are becoming the most interesting dryer. Here are three you should consider. Click this link to learn which heat pump models you should consider. And thanks for watching.